And if I sound like I really know what I'm talking about, I'm glad because I don't. Well, the stitches are definitely there. Oh, that's really not straight. Well, bam, it has shorts underneath. And then we're just gonna cut these puppies. I'm talking myself through this more than I'm talking to you because I'm not actually teaching you anything. Just gonna sew. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome to Reese's Workshop, where I'm going to put my mediocre sewing skills to use to try to alter some of the clothes that I recently thrifted to make them work better for me and get more use out of them. I'm going to put emphasis on mediocre. I'm a beginner. I kind of know what I'm doing, not really. So it's going to be a learning process for all of us. We're going to keep it pretty simple, just some like adjusting lengths and hemming. Maybe go a little bit more creative and adventurous. We'll see. But I thought I would bring you along with me and let's see what we can get done. Mm. And then I'll also style the pieces at the end so you can get like the full picture, the full vision. You feel? Alright, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with what I think is gonna be the easiest to do, and that is just to crop this shirt. So I'm wearing it with my favorite pair and most worn pair of low-waisted jeans, and I want it to come like right at the same length, maybe like a tiny bit above. That way they're not overlapping and they're matching, and then if I'm wearing anything more high-waisted, I can just kind of like scrunch up the shirt a little bit. So if I pull this down all the way straight and find where my jeans start, right here, measure that. It's a little less than two and a half inches from where I would want it to be ideally cropped. So we'll cut off two inches and then leave that little like half inch to fold over and do a seam. I'm going to do the measurement of like two and a half inches all around. It was more like two and three eighths. I feel like I haven't looked at a roller in a long time. And of course, as I'm like starting this video and getting all my supplies together, I can't find my circle rotary cutter, which makes it so much easier and the lines clean. Like, I don't know where it is. I just cleaned this room and I have no idea where the hell I put it. like marking this with washable marker all the way around because sometimes as you can see like the front and back are longer than each other like here's the two seams if i were to just cut straight across both layers probably want to be even and if i sound like i really know what i'm talking about i'm glad because i don't make it till you make it baby oh my god i am so silly the other scissors were literally right there next to my other sewing supplies i do not have an official like sewing cutting board so i'm using a literal cutting board it is clean told you we are mediocre here Amazing. That was cropped, it is cut, and honestly, I could leave it at this raw edge, but I want to practice sewing, so we're gonna sew it. Here's a little dot I marked, and I'm just folding along it and then pinning it. So even if I cut it unevenly, all the dots were even and measured precisely. So if they're all folded on that, it will be good. There we go, it's all pinned along the bottom. All right, next we're setting up the machine, which is both equally fun and annoying because I still fuck up a lot. So we first got to thread this bobbin so that we have red string going in the bottom part here. Push this in. Why are you not doing anything? There we go. There we go. Yay. I'm talking myself through this more than I'm talking to you because I'm not actually teaching you anything. We're just doing this together. Okay, so do a little P, wrap it around, and then let's get this going. I love doing this part. Like a little maze. Around the top, through, up, loop-de-loop -loop through this little hook, down, put it into this tiny little shelf, hook it on, grabs it through, the needle, you pull it through, and then you gotta get this bottom part to come up with it. Help it out. Here she comes. There we go. Now both the strings are pulled through and ready to go. Yay! We're gonna try to get this going. It seems fairly simple, but uh, you, you never really know. Ooh, we're getting a little wonky. That, that was a tad wonky, but... It's all in good fun. We're getting, we're getting the flow. I'm actually kind of shocked that I'm getting around this whole thing. I feel like something is going wrong and I'm not seeing it. Well, the stitches are definitely there. Oh, that's really not straight. Is that on the front or back? That's on the front, nice. He 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 he. All right. We, we did it. Somehow it made it a squiggly little like lettuce hem. Not what I was going for, but you know, it's cute. Um, and if worse comes to worse, if it's just terrible, then I just 
cut off what I just did and leave it as a raw edge. Let's try her on with the low-waisted jeans. Okay, well, it did what I wanted it to do, and it sits right at the top of my jeans. And honestly, I'm kind of vibing with the little lettuce hem we got going on here. I'm only one project down, and I'm sweating. But can we just tell how that little difference made it look so much better? Just the crop? Much more flattering. I think so. Hair went up. This room was like an incubator. It's so hot. Anyway, next up on the chopping block is this skirt. She's cute, but she's not giving what I want her to. I want her to be shorter. Ordering too short. And speaking of shorts, well, bam, it has shorts underneath. So I'm kind of going to be using them as like a reference guide because they come right above where my fingertips are. And that's kind of where I want the skirt to be. Because right now it's like a good three, four inches past my fingertips. Get a measuring tape out here. Yeah, nearly four inches we're going to take off of this. Risky because if I cut this too short, then it's over with. But we're again going to cut it in line more with the shorts on the inside. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing again where I just measure all around it. I'm gonna do three inches and then that leaves an inch for seam allowance. All right, let's try that on to make sure that's not too short. Okay, cool. I think that is good. Maybe a little longer in the back here. All right, now that I know that I like that at about three and a half inches, I'm gonna measure all the way around again to make sure that all the way around is three and a half inches. I'm gonna go with a different technique this time. I'm not gonna cut off the excess first. I'm just gonna sew it with the excess on. And then when I sew it down and it seems okay and I didn't mess it all up, then I can cut off the excess. Okay, now we're gonna iron this so that all the seams are flat. Come to my ironing station right there. All right, now I got it ready to sew and it's time to re-thread this again. I'm gonna use some white thread. That was the easy part. Nice, got it on the first try. Okay, and then like I said, we're just gonna sew. Hope for the best. Again, I wanna make this clear. This is not a tutorial. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? No. Okay, I'm just lining up the edge of the skirt to the edge of the foot. And we're just gonna single stitch this bitch. <laughs> I'm already liking this so much more because this material isn't stretchy. It's like canvassy. I think that's why I was struggling with the shirt because it's stretchy material. So much more confident on this one. Yay! I'm feeling like that was successful. I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. All right, the moment of truth. Is it too short? It's right at my fingers. The back. I think we did it. I think we did it. It lines up exactly with the shorts in the back. Like if I were to lean a little bit forward or something, it would peek out, but they're just shorts. Like all the ma fabric matches the same, but we did it. And that was so much more flattering. We're getting better as the time goes along. However, this next thing is the most daunting. Before we get to that though, I'm a little hungry. I need a quick lunch. So enjoy this quick commercial break. Hello besties. If you have not noticed, I am always wearing my jewelry. I'm a gold girly. So you will always see me decked out in at least multiple rings my daily necklace, and my earrings. No matter the outfit I'm wearing, no matter the vibe I'm going for, I am not complete without my jewelry. And that's why I'm so excited to be working with Flair & Co today to sponsor today's video. Flair & Co is dedicated to making affordable jewelry without sacrificing the quality of it, so they focus on doing hyperallergenic and skin-friendly and water-resistant jewelry. Now, even though I do like jewelry as much as I say I do, I tend to go for the cheaper stuff because I buy it so often. And they don't always last too well. You know, either your fingers turning green or like the tarnish is rubbing off and it's turning brown and it's just not cute after a while. However, with Flair & Co here, you do not have to worry about that because first their jewelry is water resistant, which is the biggest thing. So I don't actually think I've ever owned officially water resistant jewelry. I always take off everything before I get into the shower, even like my daily necklace that I never take off. Now, I don't have to. You know what's funny too? What I find myself that's the most annoying thing is like when I'm at the bar and I'm like gonna wash my hands and then I have to take off all my rings to wash my hands and then put them on the bar bathroom counter and then dry my hands and put them back on like that. I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> Next, if you have more sensitive skin, then the jewelry is made with hyperallergenic and skin friendly materials such as stainless steel and sterling silver, which those two metals are just lower maintenance and will not cause irritation on your skin. And finally, even with all these benefits, like they're still very affordable. You're not like gagging at the prices when you go to check out. But even just getting a nice little daily ring stack, I have four rings here, this little dagger necklace, and some earrings. I was like able to get a complete look for like a decent price and not cry at my bank account. So 
you're like me and you're a little jewelry girly but you're also more on the affordable side then definitely check out flair and co especially for the summer because we tend to wear more like simple outfits because it's so hot out like i'm always just wearing like a tank top and shorts but i want to feel dressier i want to feel more bam the jewelry does it for me again i do not feel complete i feel naked until i have my jewelry on so if you're interested in checking out flair jewelry for yourself you can go to flair accessories.com that's f-l-a-i-r-e accessories.com slash reese and use my promo code reese for 15 percent off your first order again flair accessories.com slash reese Use promo code Reese. I want to see what you guys get because again, I literally want every single thing on that website. Especially your silver girlies. I don't wear silver, but I want to see what the silver looks like. So yes, thank you again to Flair and Co. to sponsoring today's video and making me feel super slay. All right, guys, we are back and on to the final project, which I'm going to cut these jeans into shorts. And you're like, Reese, that's literally so easy. You just need to cut. There's nothing else to do. However, I told you this is my most ambitious project yet. My plan is to do this. I saw this on Instagram and I'm like, I'm obsessed with that. I can possibly make that. I'm gonna cut them into long jorts and then stitch on two big red stars using this old red shirt that I literally never wear. I'm gonna have one chance at this and I'm putting a lot of faith in myself right now. But yeah, first let's get measured how far we want these down. Maybe we'll just go up to like here. All right, I'm also gonna use my favorite pair of shorts as a reference for the length. Here's where I marked it right here. It's about two inches from these other pair of shorts from like where the inseam starts. So let's give it that two inches because again, we can always cut shorter. Once it's cut though, that's it. So it looks even enough to me. And then we're just gonna cut these puppies. Voila, we have shorts. Let's try them on real quick to make sure the length is okay. Guys, these are literally the perfect length. I did it, I did it. That was the easy part. I'm like tempted to just not do anything with them because they're like kind of perfect, but that would be fun. Let's add some stars. All right, here's the bit where I'm like, hmm, okay, how am I gonna do this? I'm first gonna cut out panels of this shirt just so I can work with like squares of fabric rather than the entire shirt. Alright, here we go. Now we got two bits of red fabric. Now we have to make stars. Yay! So the Instagram picture stars are like a little bit uneven, more like handcrafted, and her shorts are a bit bigger than mine. I'm kind of just gonna sketch out. Like I want it to be big but not too big, but then also not too small where it looks weird. I don't know if you can see my marking of the star, but there it is. And I do have like two pieces of this square fabric. So if this one's horrible, then we got another one. Okay, here's our little wonky star. Line that up on the pants and see how it looks. I think we're getting somewhere. Right, I'm gonna pin these on and then try them on to see if it looks good. I had a very large coffee and it's hitting and my hands are shaking. I did just eat though, so that should help, should. Mark. All right, I made the stars like a centimeter smaller around the perimeter and moved them up and I think it's looking good. Now it's the scary part of sewing it on and sewing it well because this stitching you're gonna see. The stitching is part of the design. I'm gonna do white all the way around the borders. I am very scared right now, like very. Because if I mess up, I'm not very good at removing the stitches. So I kind of just usually leave them there and go over them again. But we can't do that with this. Just gonna go on with the straight stitch. We're gonna go nice and slow. Oh, that's really good. It wasn't even threaded. Going like fucking sloth slow on this. All right, we're at the first point of the star where we have to do a major pivot here, which is proving itself slightly difficult. All right, another pivot, foot up, turn. Now I just stabbed myself. Oh my God, oh my God, I did it. Wait, 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 wait right there. Wait a minute, look at it. Nothing went wrong. Oh my God, the white stitching is so cute. I don't think you can really see it on camera, but I didn't sew through the back of the shorts. Oh 
Yeah, hell yeah. I don't even know how long that took, but we're gonna do the other side. Yay! I don't know if you're ready for this. I wasn't ready for this. Are you ready for this? How did I pull this off? <laughs> it's just how I envisioned. It's just like the picture. Honestly, I think I might add some like little stars to like the back pockets or the butt. Just like little tiny few inch stars. But like, can I get a hell yeah, a yeehaw, whatever you prefer. Okay, it's finally time to style the pieces. Let's, let's see what I do. First we got our little red tank top. You thought I was gonna wear these with the low-waisted jeans, right? No, too predictable. We're having a weird cool girl summer. And I feel like this embodies that. Little top, big bottom, we got this long flowy skirt. Just my usual everyday sneakers. And then of course decked out with some jewelry, all flare and co except for this one. This is Urban Outfitters. Hi so, I get my fit check. This is outfit number one. It also would have been predictable to wear these together, which would be cute. It'd be a little matching moment, but that's too much red for my liking. I don't like red that much. Next fit, completely different vibe. If you couldn't tell, I don't have an aesthetic. I just wear whatever. We're going for the island girl. We got our tropical little skirt here, some cute thrifted sandals, and then this pretty little white eyelet top with, of course, again, our jewelry. At this time, I added this locket. Do you hear this thunder out here? Definitely not island girl weather. Brought my hair down with its, like, waviness. This is outfit number two. And we've made it to outfit number three with my favorite new pair of pants that I own. We're, we're really pushing the limits on this one. There's a lot going on. I don't know the last time I put on a tube top or if I've ever, but I thrifted this and I thought it would look so good with these, like, especially really high-waisted pants. I was gonna wear a white tank top, keep it pretty basic, but then that felt too patriotic to me and I wasn't vibing with that. We got the black tube top, our new shorts, my Adidas specials, and the navy blue color. Duh. Jewelry. Don't need to explain that again. I kept my hair down, but honestly, this would also look really good with like a slicked back bun. I'm gonna stay back here because it's literally so hot in this room. I have a sweat mustache right now. But yes, okay, those are my three outfits using my three different pieces that I made today. All right, besties, that is it. We made it through. I've been in this room for like four or five hours now. Starting off a little rough. That's okay. I needed to get a warm up in because by the end, I I'm feeling really confident. I feel like I just earned like three skill points. If you like this video, definitely let me know. And if you want to see me attempt more sewing projects i will again cannot promise they're gonna be good and definitely make sure to follow me on tiktok and instagram as well we'll have more posts about this stuff cute little other edited videos i, I put a lot of hard work into them if you want to check them out but yeah these are now my new favorite shorts because i made them and i cannot wait if i get a compliment on them and be like yeah I, I made them you know all right i hope you guys enjoyed have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and make sure that you stay tuned until my next video bye